So guys, welcome back to Drill's Point. Now we are in a uh, we are in the middle of a lecture. We will be discussing the layouts for Android application development. In the last lecture, we saw about linear layout. We even had a practical demo where we discussed the properties of linear layout. Now linear layout is not used that much because of its complexity and it's become it's and becoming difficult to add the layouts one after the other. So then we came up with the next few that is the, or the next layout that we call as the relative layout. As a word. You know, suggest that if you are having a layout, then all the children of this particular layout are in relation with each other. Now, by relation, I mean that they are somewhere aligned based on the position of the former or the next child. So, a relative layout is a view group that displays the child views in the relative positions. So, now let's look at the properties by which we can use and align the layouts on our own way. So the very first property is the ID. It's very clear that the we have discussed it previously also. The ID is a unique name given to that particular view group or layout. Then after this is the layout above. By this one, you know, like we can define that you know which layout or which ID or which layout ID is above it. Then in a similar way, we can have a line bottom. In this way, you know, we can have a view matching the bottom edge of the given view ID. We define it on the basis of at the rate, the package and the name of the uh, layer that we are having. Like, like we can have it something like at the rate ID, then we can have text one, something like this. Then we are having a line left. It makes the you know the left edge of that view match the left edge of, edge of the given view ID, and it must be referenced with another resource. As we have discussed, this is another resource. We need to refer this. So that uh, the you know, the UI can arrange both the views in relation with each other. In a similar way, we we are having a layout like you know uh, we have a top also. In similar way, we even have aligned to parent, aligned to top, aligned parent in center. Don't worry about the properties; they would be coming up when we when we would be taking our uh, demo in our Android Studio. So after this, we are having gravity. Gravity is, you know, like how based on some of the position of the screen, how you want your, your children of the child of the layout to be present. Gravity can have some values like top, bottom, left, right. Then we have center vertical and center horizontal and so on. And the last one is when you want to ignore the gravity, you set the property as Android ignore gravity. In, in this property, you would be actually able to ignore the gravity and the layout can uh, work on its own without or, you know, ignoring the position mentioned in the gravity. So now let's open our Android Studio, create a new project, name the project as Relative Layout Demo, and then you would be having some by default uh, content present in the activity from main.xml. This content would be having some buttons, but it would be in the relative layout. And you would see that you know these all buttons or these all relations would be in relation with a particular view or a view group. So in this way, all these three, like we are having two buttons, uh, a linear layout and edit text. So all these would be you know linked with the with one or the other view, making the positions of all these uh, of the, all these layouts or views relative in nature. So that was all about the relative layout from our end. Stay tuned as we will be taking now having a demo session. We will, in we will be having the actual working of all these properties or attributes of relative layout. So guys, uh, welcome back again. Uh, as we have already seen like how a relative layout looks like, what are the properties of relative layout. Now let's see a demo wherein we would be actually seeing the working of a relative layout. Uh, so as I already told you that a relative layout is a layout in which all the positions of the elements are in relation with each other. So in this demo, we would be having two uh, XML files. One would be there for the purpose of illustration in which you would be seeing what all properties are how do we play with them, how do we align them, and how do we move around with the, with those properties. After this, then in the next thing, we would be covering the a, a live example of a login screen wherein we would be actually having a login screen designed fully on basis of a relative layout. So let's get started. As you can see in my layout folder, I'm having two files. One is a activity underscore main.xml and the other is a login underscore example.xml. So I start off with the activity underscore main.xml and I end up in a file in the text editor file format. I go to my design view to see how my application looks like. So here I'm having around one, two, three, four, seven controls. All these seven controls would be uh, in somewhere or the other using some properties of the relative layout. So 
as you can recall that we have uh, seen about the properties like layout above, layout align below, layout align left. So let's get started with this first button which is on the left hand side of the screen. So the button 1 is a button 1 which is having align parent top property true. So which means that this button should be aligned to the top left corner of the relative layout. So here's this button aligned to the top left corner of the relative layout. So after this we see that we have a text view that is TV2 that is this one which should be aligned at top right corner of the relative layout. Now these two views are in no relation with each other but they are aligned or they are in focus with the standard layout parent that is the relative layout. Now let's have a look at this one which is the button 6. If you can see that button 6 is somewhere or the other related to the button 1 as we can see over here. So let's see how it looks like. So here's my button 6 which is to the right of button 1 and is below of button 1. So this is a way in which we actually refer our buttons or we ref give reference to our views. All the views in this layout are in relation with each other. This is the best feature or this is the why this is the reason why we actually use relative layout a lot. So we have seen that how this one is, how this one is, how this one is. Now this is a button which is in the exact center of the screen. As the word can also suggest, the, I have given the text to this button as center. Which means that this button number 5 would be having the property center in parent equal to true. This property means that this is in the center of parent. After this we come down to button number 7 which is in relation with the button number 3. So let's check the property for button number 7. So button number 7 is above and right of button number 3 as you can see over here. And the button number 4 that we see is in the corner of the parent. So it's align parent bottom and align parent right. So both these properties are true meaning that this would be aligned to the bottom right corner of the parent if you can see over here. So the last is the button number 3 which is aligned to the parent bottom from the left I think. Here it's parent bottom true means it's on the parent bottom and it's aligned to the left. Now you would be wondering that how do I remember all these all these attributes or how do we give them? Guys you don't you don't need to worry about these attributes. If you take a button and bring it anywhere on the screen you can see that whatever properties or whatever relation it is having right now on the yellow box that is shown above we are able to see that. It says that the button that you are adding would be to the left of button 5 below button 6 and the margin would be 45 dp. See. Now if I, ha if I happen to move button number 6 a bit down then you would see that this button would also move. See. This button moved from its initial position. This can be done only because we are able to have a layout which is having all the views in relation with all other views. So whenever you are moving or whenever you are changing the position of a view, just check what all elements are there that are linked to that view. If you are still unsure, just tap on that view, you would be seeing lines or pointing which would be saying that how are all these views related to each other. Like see for this one, it's so showing that it's related only with the parent. This one is related only with this button. So this was about the views that are inside the relative layout. The features like align layout, align parent left, layout, align parent bottom, align parent uh, to the end of or layout below, layout to the right of, all these properties are particularly and specifically linked only to the relative layout. Now if you remember as I've already shown you in the uh, linear linear layout that the layout is having or following a padding of 16 
DP, which is a standard padding assigned by the or you know uh, given up by the Android design guideline. So guys, this was all about playing with the relative layout, seeing the properties of relative layout. Now let's see how can we actually set up a background in the relative layout. So first let me get an image from my system. I get this image and I paste it in my drawable folder. So it's asking me to rename. I rename this as TP. I simply go to the relative layout. I choose this relative layout. I go to its background property and from there I choose this image. On clicking save I would I am able to see that a background image with such thing have been set up on my screen. Now let me run this project and see how it shows up on my emulator or on my mobile phone. For this I would be using a Motorola phone for the purpose of testing. So here's a screen which shows that this is a relative layout I'm got and this is the background that I'm having. These are all the buttons that are there. The buttons would be clickable. As you can see this is a property of a button that it's clickable. And this is my text view. I hope you would have got quite well about understanding of the relative layout. Now let me give you a quick demo in which we have designed a small login screen using relative layout. We would be seeing how this screen would actually be working on our relative layout. Let's see. So this is a welcome screen which says which is having a text view in the starting which is a which says to this point it is having another text view which is saying welcome screen then we are having a option to enter the username the, an option to enter the password if you can see properly that this uh, field is actually linking with this username and almost all the fields in this way we would be able to understand that which all fields are impacting or are being used by our uh, views so if you see that this is a relative layout which is uh, which is the home or which is the starting tag for this xml file then in this one we are having a text view as a text view then we are having an edit text we are having button edit text text view and button in the initial phases the relative layout would be a bit difficult to play with because there would be some uh, mismatches in the position that would be giving you some error but otherwise it is the most used layout in the industry let me show you the quick properties of all the elements of views present in this layout so i starting on the bottom i am having this button this button is aligned to the end first of all to the end of edit text 2 to the right of edit text 2 and is in the then I'm having a text view which is top horizontal which is aligned in the center of the top of the parent stop center of the parent stop then I'm having a edit text which is aligned in the vertical manner in the center of vertical and it says that align parent left and align parent start so you would be finding that this is aligned to the left start then we are having this button which is aligned below the edit text 2 and to the left of text view 2 and to the start of text view. so here's my edit text which is below the edit text below the text view 1 and it's having color as green in nature now let's quickly run this application on our phone for running this application on your phone you would be needed to make some changes to your java file so you can do as i am doing and you can follow it go to your java and here in the line which is saying set content view r dot layout dot activity underscore main here you are supposed to give the name of the layout that you want to call here i am giving the name of the xml file i am calling and it is login example I save it now I again run it I choose it to be run on my Moto G3 phone and now let me check how it is showing on my phone so here's this welcome tutorial which says welcome login screen tutorials point your username and your password you can log in or you can reset so guys this was all about relative layout here we saw the property of the relative layout the alignment of the layout how it was playing with the parents 
That was all from our side on the relative layout. We recommend you to practice some login screens on some enrollment forms which would be giving you a better idea for the knowledge of the relative layout. Stay tuned as we bring more layouts and more user controls for you.